Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my art space today. I wanted to talk about uh, 10 ways in which you can set yourself up for success if you're just beginning in your junk journal journey. Now, I've, I've read in the community, lots of people are overwhelmed by the fact that they need to start junk journaling and they don't know where to start and is overwhelmed by techniques, supplies, etc, etc. So just want to give you 10 tips. First of all, I would suggest you to start small. The reason why I say that is when you start small, you are setting yourself up for success because when you complete a project or even a page, right, you feel good about it. And so you want to keep going and you want to keep continuing. And... Um, and this is your first journal. So, you know, uh, starting small like this, uh, where you, you can complete that page quickly, gives you a sense of satisfaction and a sense of achievement to keep going. And that's what I did with my first journal, right? So that's number one. Number two, I would say is to practice on things that you have on hand. Don't buy expensive products or supplies before you know that this is for you and you feel good about doing junk journaling. So find things around your home that you could use. For example, this one here, which is all my scraps, bits and pieces like packaging and various bits and pieces that I have found in my home. Uh, I use glue and uh, basically um, uh, what I had like staples and, um, you know, pack it, uh, what's this, um, wrapping paper left over uh, and then just try to make a collage, try to place it in your book and that will build confidence then you can start progressing to using a magazine rather than buying things um, that are expensive you could go to the thrift shop or the op shop and pick up something like this for a couple of dollars and you can use that for your journal the reason why it's important to not spend too much is so that you won't feel really precious about your supplies or your stickers and you feel like you've wasted uh, you know, your money and you don't want to make mistakes. And so that mindset of not wanting to make mistakes and you don't have that freedom to just practice and just to, to try different things is a hindrance to getting better at this craft. So I just want to suggest that that could be a way to get over that that um, that hurdle. And don't be afraid once you have started and are confident to to add one or two techniques to um to to your journal. So don't add like don't try too many different things all at once. Add one or two things to your tech, uh, to your journal you know what try one of two techniques for example you can try um some staining right or from uh, coffee staining uh, here in this case here i use just a coffee bag or you could do watercolor all right but don't do all at once because what happens then or if you're making pockets you know, don't try too many things all at once. It will make you overwhelmed. So that is tip number four. I'm just, yeah. And tip number five, it's very important. When you're doing junk journaling, don't be afraid to make mistakes. The beauty about junk journaling is, as you can see, a lot of the stuff are quite sort of eclectic and you're putting things together. It's actually quite easy to hide mistakes. So say, for example, if there was a mistake under here, you can always take something and place over it. All right. And if the whole page, the entire page, you don't, you're not really happy with it. I mean, worst come to worst, you can just stick a book page over it. 
and no one will know. No one will know that what's underneath, only you do. So, you know, try to use the mistakes and then be resourceful and, and uh, work around it. And you'll find, because I've done that before, and you'll find that you're quite good in not disguising, but, you know, making something out of those mistakes. Number six is do not compare your art to others. Very important because um, when I first started, I was thinking, oh no, I can't do that. But I forget that they have probably had quite a number of years doing this. So of course, they're going to be better than me. I'm just starting, right? And we all have to start somewhere. So don't compare it. You are on your journey, they are on their journey, and, and they have had maybe a couple of years of experience and doing those pages, and we're just starting. So don't compare with others. The other thing is do not be afraid to explore and try new things. There are so many facets and different things that you can add to junk journaling you know, different pockets, uh, making um, uh, artist trading cards, uh, adding different uh, textures to your your art. Uh, don't be afraid to try. And don't be afraid that if they're not great, right? Because, you know, it is a matter of trying and exploring new things in your journal. So once you're confident in using just a notebook, you can always start by making a journal. Because I think if you make a journal at the start, for some people, not all, but for some people, it can be quite overwhelming. So this is a journal that I actually stitched up. There is, uh, I'll link it to my playlist and you can see the full flip through for any of these that are in my playlist. Um, you can start making a simple journal because again, making this simple journal will give you confidence to make future journals. But you need to start somewhere and you need to start sim in, in a very simple way, step by step. Number nine is when you start junk journaling, it's very easy to get a very cluttered workspace with a lot of junk everywhere on your table and that can actually hinder your future junk journaling um, journey because so as you as you um, uh, progress as you're collecting things be sure to declutter things that you don't want and you may think oh i might need this for this and then you you have it all everywhere try to organize it as much as you can because that will set you up for success and finally number 10 enjoy the process it is not about being perfect in every page because there is no such thing as perfection in junk journaling. But the process is very important. As you enjoy the process, you will keep going with junk journaling because you have tried and you are satisfied with, you know, just even doing something small. And this mindset needs to change because it is not about completing your journal with perfection, it is not a test. There is no such thing as a junk journal police that is going to come and, and tell you off because, you know, you've done the wrong thing. It's all about enjoying the journey, exploring and trying new things. So hopefully this will help you if you are new in your journey. I hope that this will encourage you to start. Don't be afraid. Take courage and start today.